All right, guys, today we're talking about the Eastwood 7x12 mini lathe. This lathe is perfect for all those small turning projects around your home shop. It's gonna be great for threaded adapters, bushings, sleeves, shift knobs, anything around the size of a soda can. You're gonna be able to turn it quickly and efficiently. So what's great is we include everything you need to get started. To set up this lathe, we're gonna use the included high-speed steel cutting bit and the tool holder. What's great about this bit and tool holder is it actually sets the tool at the right height for this lathe chuck and lathe assembly. All we have to do is tighten down these tool post bolts and we'll actually be ready to make a cut. Now one tip when you're setting this up, you wanna minimize the amount of stick out between the tool post and the end of your tool bit. Doing so is gonna eliminate any deflection that may occur and get as strong a cut as possible. Let's get this tightened down. So now that we got the bit tightened up, we'll chuck this piece of aluminum in here and see where we're at. Our spring-loaded chuck key actually prevents you from leaving it in. A nice safety feature. Okay, so now that we got our piece of aluminum in, we're actually gonna bring the tool over and we're gonna verify that the height is correct. If we need to, we can adjust that height with some shims. Now having that tool nice and centered is actually gonna give us the best performance possible. If we're too low or too high, we can cause deflection on our workpiece or chatter and possibly binding. The next thing to look at is your actual cutting angle. This tool post, it revolves and it also indexes and locks into place. That's got a couple functions. One, you can put some different bits in here, do different operations, but it also allows you to get that angle just right. We're gonna run just a little bit of angle here, and that's gonna give us a little bit better cutting performance. With the height and angle set up, we'll be able to drop the lid, pull our emergency stop, select a direction, and turn the lathe on. We're gonna start slow here. Be able to bring the part up. And you can see we can begin to turn. We can also face in this direction as well. You can also bring in a little more speed. That speed's gonna give us a little bit better of a surface finish. This also has a power feed if we wanna use that. So it's really that easy. So if you're a true beginner, it's worth noting, your black handle down here is gonna move the whole carriage along the slide. You're gonna have a Y axis or cutting depth adjustment here. And then your tool post not only pivots to select an angle, but then you also have a micro adjustment here for both cutting in a depth or in an angle. And the last knob you're gonna to have to worry about is your depth on your tail stop. So as you can see guys, I may have gotten a little carried away. Once you get your Eastwood mini lathe set up, you're gonna to wanna to take big pieces of metal and make them into smaller pieces of metal. Sometimes for no reason at all. So that was a very basic setup. In future videos, we're gonna go through into more details, some more advanced operations, and actually make some small projects with this Eastwood lathe. For more information about it, visit eastwood.com.